Instead of BIDS, the Business Intelligence Development Studio, you'll now use SQL Server data tools for multidimensional data mining and tabular model development. And when you fire up data tools, you'll see that there are several Analysis Services project templates. One is the Analysis Services Multidimensional and Data Mining Project. You can use this template to develop the traditional type of project for Analysis Services, which is now known as the Multidimensional Model, and is the only model that includes support for the Analysis Services data mining features. Another is the Import from Server, Multidimensional and Data Mining. And you can use this template when a multidimensional model exists on a server and you want to create a new project using the same model design. Another project template is the Analysis Services Tabular project. This is new and you can use this template to create the new tabular model. You can deploy this model to an Analysis Services instance running in tabular mode only, that one of those three server modes. And this project lets you import data from a database and includes a tabular model designer to shape the data as you need. Another project template is Import from Power Pivot. You can use this template to import a model from a workbook that's deployed to a Power Pivot for SharePoint instance of Analysis Services. You can extend the model using features supported in tabular modeling and then deploy the model to an Analysis Services instance. And then finally, there's an import from server tabular. And this template is appropriate when a tabular model exists on a server and you want to create a new project using the same model design. So let's take a quick look at how you can use data tools in order to create these different kinds of projects. Here I have the SQL Server data tools already loaded and ready to go. On this particular machine, I only have data tools installed. I didn't have a prior installation of Visual Studio 2010 before I installed SQL Server 2012. All right, so as usual, I'll come in, File, New Project, and select Analysis Services, and there you can see all of the available templates that I talked about. So I'll go ahead and create this project. I don't really care about the name. And this creates a tabular project. A tabular model is a new kind of database structure that Analysis Services supports. When you create a project using that template, Data Tools adds this model.bim file to the project and creates a workspace database on the Analysis Services instance. Then it uses that workspace database as a temporary storage for data while you develop the model by importing data by designing the objects that you need. One of the things you can do is use the table import wizard in order to get data into this model. So I'll go up here to model, import from data source, and that fires up that table import wizard. As you can see, there's a number of different sources that you can use for the data in this model. Microsoft SQL Server, SQL Azure, a SQL Server parallel data warehouse, Access Oracle, Teradata, Sybase, and so forth. So I'm going to go ahead and read in data from SQL Server. I'm going to use my local instance, SQL Server 2012, and I'll import data from the AdventureWorks data warehouse. If I need to, I can set various advanced settings for the connection, and I can test the connection. Fairly usual stuff. And then I need to specify credentials that's used by Analysis Services to connect to the data source. So I can either use a specific Windows username and password or a service account. But I'll use oops, the user that I'm logged in as. I hope I typed that in correctly because it doesn't actually try to make the connection until I'm done with the wizard and it's ready to import the data. And then I can select from a list of tables or write a query. I'll just import tables. And I'll be a little bit lazy and just import the entire database. I can also use this button to select related tables to any tables that I've selected. And I can also click on the preview and filter button here. So for the selected table, it then allows me field by field 
set various filter conditions. And I can sort the data in various ways and begin to shape it a bit as it's imported into the model. I'm just going to accept all the defaults. But I can do that for each of the tables that I select to import. Then I'll click on Finish, and it goes out and starts importing all that data. And there we go. As you can see, it successfully imported all of the data. And I can close this, and it opens up the tabular model designer.